This is the plaintiff, Diane Graham. She says the defendant is her stepson, and he went to her house and stole her diamond ring, a snowblower, and two hedge trimmers. The louse also stole a truck, and she's here in the name of justice, stepson or no stepson. She's suing him for the $2,534.83 she's owed, because what he did isn't right. This is the defendant, Scott Graham. He says his father died, and a few weeks later, the plaintiff gave him permission to go to their house and get some of his tools. Three days later, the crazy woman calls the cops, claiming he stole her diamond ring. The woman never liked him, and she's just suing him today out of spite. Terrible, just terrible. He's accused of stealing from his stepmom. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Yana. Thank you, Douglas. You Diane Graham, yes. you are suing Scott Graham, your stepson, for $2,534.83 for items that you say he wrongfully took from your home after his father, your husband, passed away. Tell me yes. what happened. And I'm sorry for your loss to Thank both you. of you. When did, when did he pass away? October 4th, 2016. Okay. So what happened? Uh, How did he die? I'm sorry. He had an aneurysm. So it was brain. sudden. Yeah. All right. Uh, how old was he? 70. Okay. Was he in good health? No. Okay. All right. So um, what happens between you two that brings you to court today? I came home from work between runs. I'm a bus driver. And my uh, generator and my shop vac and my snowblower and my hedge trimmers were taken. Okay, now according to you, you asked her for permission to get some tools? Yes. Did you tell her what tools you were taking? Because those aren't tools. She said, she's, me and my son came over there shortly after my father died. And uh, I asked her, can we go into the garage and take tools and stuff that belong to my father? She said, sure, go right ahead. She was home when this happened. Um, several days later, she calls the police. Well, calling the police doesn't sound like somebody who was perfectly fine with you taking the snowblower, the generator, which is a big ticket item, the snowblower, which is a big ticket. That doesn't sound like she was okay with it 48 hours earlier. So why would she say okay? Like, that doesn't make any sense, that she would say okay, then call the police. It sounds like she really wasn't okay with any of that. So did you tell her tools, and then you took other stuff that weren't tools, or what? I, I told her tools, yes, and, and we took other stuff other than tools. So but did I mean, you call him before calling the police? Yes. I, I said, where's the generator? He said, my boss needs it. We took it on the back of his truck. I need it for a job. As soon as the job is done, I'll bring it back to you. Never came back. He took the snowblower. He says, I need to fix it. There's a pin mixing. I said, okay, when it's fixed, please bring it back to me. Never returned the snowblower. And what was the other item? The hedge trimmers, the gas hedge trimmers. Did he bring that back? No. And I, I needed to do the lawn. I'm all by myself. I need the snowblower. And I need the generator. If I lose power, I'm all by myself. I... He's not a year in the ground, and you guys are no. suing each other? I'm not suing her. I well, want no. to well, She has to sue you, because you I didn't return the stuff. Why didn't you return the stuff? Because if she... you now know, two days later, that she's not OK with the stuff you took and that they're not tools, why didn't you return the stuff? Because she said, screw me and my family. I never want to see you again. Keep the money. What did, what did happen, Your Honor? You keep saying that the reason you don't do something is because she gives you permission to not do it, except for that she's suing you, so that can't be. No, like, I, I, I you know, I keep the money. What did you, what do you mean, keep the money? Did you sell this stuff? Yes, I did. But, but what did happen? Uh, did you we... tell her that your boss needed it? I'm sorry. No, I don't know where she got that from. Why did you sell the stuff? I had to pay my rent. But your money problems are her problem. This is household stuff in her house. How long were you married? 10 years. You know. We were together for 14. And did you, when you, did you, do you own the home? Yes. And uh, was the home purchased while you guys were married or was that? No, I had it way before, since 87. You had it way before. Oh, yeah, since 87. I um, took. According to you, a diamond ring is missing? Yes, my husband bought me a beautiful diamond ring for uh, Christmas one year. And when the, all the stuff was missing, when he came over my house when I was at work, my ring was gone. 
How would he get inside the house? He, there was a spare key in the garage, and he knows the code to open up the garage, and he also knows the alarm code for the house. In case of an emergency or something, he had to come over. Where so he, was the ring? It was in my dresser drawer up in my bedroom. Did you see any signs of somebody g rummaging through your house? I noticed everything gone when I came home from work. Right, but did you see any signs of anybody rummaging through your drawers? No, but he was in How my room. How do you know where you keep your ring? Because I opened up the drawer when he was in there. I had him and his son come upstairs, and I gave him some book bags and some clothes and stuff, and uh, his loose coin collection from the dresser. And I your opened husband's. the drawer. Yeah. And I opened up the drawer, and the ring was right there. Right there, how? It was right there on top of my in my. Uh, on top drawer. of what? Oh, on my my socks. Your what? My socks. You keep your ring on top of your socks. Underneath my socks. If it was underneath your socks, how did he see them? I. Did you take I don't the know, ring? But he took. Oh, he, he took a lot. Um, I gave him his coin collection, his uh, father's medals. I gave him pistols. I gave him a shotgun. I gave him a coin, another coin collection from the dining room. So There's I don't know will. why he had to come and take this. Your father left a will. Yes, he did. And who's the executor of the will? I am. He is. And what have you done in order to, ex to execute the will? We, we sat down with the lawyer and talked about the will. And according to the will, the lawyer said we, we could probate this and put everything into a state. Diane didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. We were both happy with the way things were going. I was going to get the truck. My son was going to get the boat. All she wanted was the house and car. So then... <clears throat> well, the house is hers. You can't have it. Yeah, well... It was hers before. I, I, I wasn't it wasn't even your father. I wasn't so, asking yeah, for it. Yeah. She's allowed I mean, to keep her underwear, too. That doesn't belong to anybody <laughs> but her. After she called the police and said that I took the generator and the snowblower, and after that whole well, deal... Would you have a police report? No, I've never I seen would like report. to see a police report, because she, if she never mentioned the ring on the police report, I that did. would be telling to me. I did. I did mention no. it to I, her. I talked to the police on the phone. Did they mention the ring? She did. Yeah. Um, you're suing for a generator, a hedge trimmer. Tell me if, if these are all the things that you took from the garage that day. A generator? Yes. A hedge trimmer? Yes. A space heater? No. No? No. Nope. Well, that's $7.88. Yeah. All right. Uh, snow blower? Yeah. Yes. yes. And yes. shop vac? Yes. Okay, and the other thing you're suing for is the diamond ring and changing the locks, correct? Right. All right, everything else I've mentioned is in the garage, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have, how are you valuating the things that uh, were taken from the garage? I don't have receipts for anything. I looked, uh, I looked through his paperwork and stuff and I didn't, so I went on the, my Let phone. Let me see what you got. And Show me what you got. And let me ask you, Scott, what's our plan here? She was how long was she in your life? As long as her and my dad were married. So 10 years and probably they dated before they married. I so guess. longer than 10. Did you guys not get along? She never liked me. From, she didn't like you? From, from the get-go. Why didn't she like you? Probably because of my so past. so likable. Probably because of my past. Are you working to change your past? It's been changed. Okay. Um, w were you guys close, you and your dad? Yes. But you would see each other without her, or you would, she would be there too? She would just disappear. She, would, she spent most of her time in, 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 in her room. I mean, like during holiday times, Christmas or whatever, if I came over with my kids, she'd disappear upstairs in, into, into the bedroom. Didn't want to. Does she have a relationship with, well, your kids are older, they're grown, right? I have two children that are grown, yes. Okay, do you have younger children too? I have a younger six Does she have a years. relationship with your children? No. Did your husband love his son? Yes. Can you imagine what he's thinking right now? I know. I wanted to settle this out of court. I did not. I told him he could have the boat in the car, I mean, the, the boat in the truck. I don't care. He could have that. I just wanted what I but wanted. But according to, to you, she's holding house the work. boat and the truck yes, hostage. Yes, right. you signed the wrong title. Yes, she wants you to pay over. back for the stuff she's right about. She told Ooh, me. Ooh, perish the thought. She's right, right she about. Told me, she told me not to. She said, don't worry about it. She texted okay. me that morning. Scott, the next... you have a communication problem with Diane because clearly tools do not mean snowblower, hedge trimmer, shop vac, generator. Okay? One. And two, she does not appear to be fine with it. Now, 
She's not now. In the, okay, my <laughs> dear, when do you figure out she wants it? When you get served? When do you figure it out? Okay, when... When do you figure it out? Because your excuses are not good excuses. Okay, what, what happened was when she originally had given me the truck and she had signed the title, she had signed the wrong title. So I had called her and was trying to work out. This is after the whole thing with the police. I said, Hold on, the truck was in whose name? John's. And it was purchased while you were married? Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't think you're getting it. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. Why do family members fight so badly when somebody dies? I think it's a combination of money and emotions. People are upset afterwards and kind of what you get maybe shows what you think that person loves you or not. Fair enough, that's actually good, what do you say? It's over money and emotions, I agree with her. You're smiling, why are you smiling at it? It's all about the money. money. We're never going to fight. We're sisters. We're going to split everything equally. Yeah, yeah. And, until you turn your back. Uh -uh. Going inside the courtroom. If she wanted to be the evil stepmother, you don't get the truck. That's fine. She can handle nope, it. No, she doesn't even want the truck. She's just holding it hostage to the money that you legitimately owe her. Okay. Okay, pay the lady. Because your son wants the boat. And, she's, and there's no problem with that. So, you know, either the will gets probated or it doesn't. But if it gets probated, I don't see a lot in it for you. I, I don't, I, you know, I, I am... What makes you think he took the diamond ring? What was because his past? Because he was, he was a uh, crime and drugs. Was anything theft related? Was anything yeah, theft yes. related? Yes. Yes. How, many, how much of it? How many, what were they? Thefts, robberies, what was it? Burglaries? Uh. Robberies. With weapons or without weapons? Without weapons. How much time did you serve? Three years. Three years. But I was never in her house without her being there. Do you really think he'd take your diamond ring? Yeah. What about your relationship with him throughout the years would make you think that? Um, because of his past. This is writing on a piece of paper. How did... Yeah, that... I looked on my cell phone... Right, you didn't print anything out? I, uh... Like, in other words, I want evidence. I don't want you to... I don't want to just trust what your memory oh, no, is. I, and what you, so I you didn't have, have no the receipts, receipts for, or anything. You have so no receipts for anything. No, I was just guessing. All right. Well, rough guessing justice. is not a good way rough to do justice. this. Rough justice. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, rough justice. I do rough justice. <laughs> I know. You don't do rough justice. I know justice. you. That's I what do I rough mean. justice because I'm standing here and That's having to I mean. rule on something really quickly. I'm sorry. You I tried take to your look time stuff, and I figure out the it. prices and bring proof. I Plus, it would be the depreciated value of the items. Also, did you end up selling stuff to pay your rent? Just the generator and the... Um, What'd you get for the generator? Uh, $250. Oh, it was worth more than that. Jeez. Why are you saying it was worth more than that? It was... A big, yeah, but even you are suing for 300 yeah. for the generator. Yeah. So why are right. you saying that it was worth more than that? A new generator's 300 Yeah. Yeah, so this yeah. is an old one. Why would yeah. it be worth more than 250 Yeah. So okay, as to the ring, now we're done. I'm not uh, going to order the ring paid back um, because I really, I don't have, other than he has the opportunity, according to you, I think that ring may turn up, especially if it's loose under socks. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but as for absolutely everything else, that is 100% yours. And I'm going to do a little rough justice right now. How old was the snowblower? The snowblower was, had to be 20 years old. How old is the snowblower? Yeah. It's just the principle of the thing. Like I know, but I don't deal in just principle. Okay. My rough justice is a little different than your rough justice because uh, it's depreciated value of these items. Yeah. I find in your, I, I've already explained the ring. Right. Um, you don't get the money for the change of the locks. That's something you should do, but right. that's not, if you feel unsafe, but okay. that's not something that somebody else has to pay you for. Um, I find in your favor in the amount of $821.91. That's my verdict. Good Thank luck, you. folks. Well, the plaintiff, Diane Graham, prevails to the tune of $821. Scott Graham, you want to say anything? Scott Graham does not want to talk. He's his stepson. Here comes Diane now. I, I presume this kind of ends your relationship with him altogether. What yeah. would you say? I'm just sorry that we had to come to court. I wanted to settle it out of court, but it didn't work out that way. All right. So. You, you okay with the rough justice that the yes, judge just fine. came up with? Yes. 800 bucks? Yeah. 
Maybe the ring will turn up. Yeah, I hope so. Let's hope so. Yeah. For your, sorry I had to go through this. Thank you very much. Harvey, tragic case. What do you think? Okay, Doug, just because somebody has an opportunity to steal, even if they have a motive, that's not enough proof to win a case. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.